yeah, uh, Mount Shasta. It's the solstice. Like, this is a party. So many beautiful people. What's going on, Tristan? Hey. Dude, I'm so excited to be here. How was last night? I was at Oak Point Hot Springs. Oh, I wasn't here last night. I just got here this uh, morning. I hope today's the day. Yeah, it is the day. Cool. For sure. This yeah. is like a big deal today, isn't it? Yeah, it's the solstice. It's the official start of summer. Would you want to be able to tell people what the solstice is for the community here? Yeah, the the solstice is the longest uh, day of the year. Some would say it's the beginning of summer. I personally feel like it's kind of the middle of summer. Like the summer energy has been building and it's culminated to here. From here on, the days get shorter, but it's full summer now. There's no snow melting off. So. And so, what does the solstice mean to you? What type of uh, what type of ritual do you perform? If you don't mind me sharing. Um. Last year I was drumming up at Sand Flat with the community and just uh, coming together in unity and prayer and celebration. Um, so you just kind of harness like the feelings you want to have and the feelings you want to share? Yeah, I mean, every, every year I feel like has its own energy and I'm not an expert about what's going on right now. I was told about this solstice to Avoid overextending yourself um, on, on this day cool. for the sake of others. So making sure to hold your needs and boundaries uh, highly. And yeah, I, I don't know about the energy, but for for me, I guess I mean it's 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 a big deal. It's one of the the biggest drum circles here that kicks off the beginning of drum circle season yeah and it's a serious energy that a lot of people come together to celebrate and seeing my family my community it's getting to do what we love to do and do what we all do so well and live in our authenticity and share our highest selves with, uh, with the people around us in the world and try to raise our vibrations and Send out our love into the heavens. So you're stoked. Yeah, I'm stoked. It's a beautiful day. This is I, today is the day of freedom for me. I, I've been I, I've been in Babylon and it's been trying to hold me down. And, and what is been Babylon? There's some people that don't know what Babylon is. Babylon. Oh, Babylon is ancient, and Babylon is the system that has built civilization. It is the force behind money. Um, and So it's basically like just the institution in general? I mean, it's the, it's, Babylon is the first civilization. And it's like, when we talk about Babylon, it's the same Babylon that they're singing about in reggae music. Really? It, it's, um, it's the first city. Like when people went from being in like tribes and hunting and gathering to settling down and forming like a polis, like a like a it was the first proper city with like shops and trade and like a hub of of certain things and Babylon has its benefits and its luxuries but at its core it's built on oppression and hierarchical class structures where there you have fundamentally a working class and a ruling class and the ruling class does everything it can to maintain its control over the working class and it's just as alive today as it was when it was born so it's the same ongoing system that just hasn't died yeah yeah in yeah, it, it's ancient, you know, it's like from the time of Mesopotamia. Yeah, like the Tigris and the Euphrates, this yeah. Sumerian. Yeah, and so that, that's the start of this, and I see this time now as the end of this cycle. The age of Pisces is over, and Babylon is falling down, and we may not see the full culmination of its fall, in our lifetime, but it is falling. It has lost its balance, and it is a giant behemoth that is slowly, slowly, but surely crashing to the ground. Hell yeah. It can't be stopped. Yeah. And this, raising our vibrations in this way, coming together, yeah, I'm gonna this way so and the dancing, moving our body and our breath, and creating this vortex of energy and unity with intention and 
prayer. Like raising our vibrations in this way is the most we can do to continue pushing this beast to the ground. And we're free, you know. Like and uh, I will work my whole life to free the minds of everyone I can. And I mean, play my role in uh, whatever that looks like. But I. What Bob, I was listening to Bob Marley on the way up here, and he says, To emancipate yourself from mental slavery, none but ourselves can free our minds. Wow, yeah. And that's uh, what he's singing, you know? So I, I'm not speaking to anyone who doesn't want to wake up or isn't already waking up. I'm speaking to those who know what I'm talking about, yeah. you know? And uh, I'm speaking to those that need guidance, uh, in their time of awakening and confusion. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of us out there. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, I don't know how many times now that I've been back and forth between Babylon, but I'm out of Babylon now, and I am free. And it's the first freedom I've had since being there, so. Wow, that's fantastic, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, uh... I'm gonna have to get another interview then because that was really good and I appreciate it. But I'm yeah. gonna let you wander and do your thing, dude. I'll see you up at the, the ceremony later. Thanks again. Yeah, absolutely. Always, uh, always a pleasure. Yeah, and if you have any um, questions in mind that you want to talk about, yeah, and you want to tell me in advance, I can gather my thoughts a little Ooh, better. Yeah. To really formulate something to convey the message. Yeah, I need to. I like that you have so much knowledge and I'm just thirsty for it. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. Thank you for this work. I can't wait to share it. Thank you. Love you too. Yeah, thanks, Tristan.
I just want to give a hug, but it would just be like a video of me hugging everyone. No lie, last year during the peak of COVID, while everyone was like isolated and hiding and scared, uh, I was here and I got more hugs in like two months than I'd gotten the five years combined before that. Uh, I just love it here. We've got the headwaters of the Sacramento River up here. I'm going to come and get a drink and uh, do this talking, go back, see the drums and then see about heading up to the actual ceremony. Can't wait to just chill out. I need to get extra water in me because I might take some medicine tonight. It's been a, been a while. But yeah, let's check this out. Now I've done a few videos coming up here, but whatever, this might be your first time watching my channel. What's up, man? Hey. Huh? So good to see all these people here, man. Dude, wait till you get up there. Oh, man. I, I just got like 20 hugs. I'm serious. Wait till you get up there. I can't wait. Oh, dude. I can't wait. Oh, this is Doug. What's up, Doug? What's up? One of, my, one of my good friends from last year. We traveled together. What have you been up to, man? I'm not sure. So what does Shasta mean to you? Shasta is my home on the West Coast. How did you find it? When was the first time you heard about it? Uh, 20, 25 years ago in Humboldt. Really? Yep. Can you tell me about what happened, how you heard about it, or first time here? Just working farms. Working a farm, yeah. yeah. What type of farm? A uh, family farm. Oh, cool, gotcha. <laughs> like corn and potatoes, or? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Sounds good. <laughs> what is it, what's your last year been like? We ran from the fires together from Shasta. Right. And last year has been a whirlwind traveling back cross country. Got stuck in New Orleans for four months. Been a shit show. Any romantic activities? Fuck no. No, come on. <laughs> no. You're with all those pretty young girls. Come on. No. Aw. We'll, fi we'll, we'll find us both something here. Right. For sure. <laughs> I mean, today's the day, right. midsummer. That's right. Cool. Well, I'd love to do like a full on interview later if you're down. Yeah. But uh, I'm just kind of wandering around, rambling. Yeah, I gotcha. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to go back and uh, smoke. Back at the, where all the, they park all the campus and stuff. In the very back? Yeah, about five minutes. If you want to come over that way, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. love to share. Doug's so cool. <laughs> Yo, Dolphin, what's going on, bro? What's up, girl? Good to see, I called you, or I texted you. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic, oh man. Dude, I heard there's like 250, 300 people up on. Sand flats? Yeah, right now. Just ready. All if, right. If not more. There's going to be more tonight. Yeah. Sand flats that was just crazy. crazy. I got uh, I got I got to have out some mushrooms for sale. I as well. Oh shit. I probably shouldn't have said that. Oh well. For trade? Shit. Uh we'll Yeah, to, I'm definitely going to take some. You you pick half. You, you pick half the camp, I'll pick the other half. We'll oh, to, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, on, yeah. I'm on, uh, I'm on that too. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm so down. Cool, I'm gonna get some water and uh, I'm gonna go up there. Is this your, your thing? Yeah, this is all this shit. Can you talk about it? Yeah, um, this is stuff. And this I'm is Dolphin. It. Dolphin I sell we, things. We and met stuff. in Shasta. No, we met in Slab City, motherfucker. Well, what I mean, sorry, Slab City, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, Dolphin creates stuff and sells stuff. Yeah, and they are really good. I make patches, I, make, I do some leather work, wire wraps. Any online shopping availability? Absolutely. Uh, if you uh, plug my Instagram. Yeah, please. If you shoot it, I'll try to get a link in the end. Oh boy, how do I spell it? Yeah, if you like. Yeah, uh, psychedelical on Instagram. Psychedelical. Except you're gonna misspell it with the Y before the S. All right. As opposed to S Y, you're gonna do P Y S. Psychedelical. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
so they can reach out to you if they're interested. That's awesome. So you, uh, the, the, the pins are a big thing you do, right? Yeah, I'm about to start making some uh, square like tarot card pins as well. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Bones, bullet shells, I'm that's start sweet. I'm working on making like harem pants. I'm just expanding to practically every form of uh, accessory or artwork known to uh, Dirty Kid or Hippie Kid kind. That's so cool. <laughs> what is a Dirty Kid? Some people don't know what a Dirty Kid is. Uh, dirty Kids are travelers who are a bit more, uh, I don't know, like... They typically hop trains, less likely to travel in vans. Now, how are they different, like, uh, aside from aesthetics, than, like, a hippie? Uh, much more, uh, hippies are, you know, still pretty much like hippies from the 60s. Dirty kids are much more punk, much more rah, rah, rah. I like to... Like, fuck the establishment? Yeah. Like, huh? Can you fucking hit my cigarette? Yes. You walk up to my fucking store, you have to hit my fucking cigarette? Smoke, dog. Ah! No! Whoa! You <laughs> have a lighter. That's the most important question. I'm gonna roll through, but dude, we'll have to burn one and uh, chill later. I'm gonna yeah, be. It's uh, gonna be a wild night tonight. I have a job interview in Ashland in two days on my birthday. Yeah. We'll see. It's. Nice. I'm. I'm hopefully. I think I got a trim job finally. Where? Ah, uh, Springfield. Like right next to Eugene. Like, cool. In the oh city. no way! I'm yeah. Gonna have to like go out of my way. That's awesome. Cool. Well, yeah, I'll definitely see you up later then. All right. Hell yeah. Peace. So yeah, not Shasta. I met him in Slap City. Dolphin was a big handlebar guy. He was handlebar and the flamingo camp. And I keep saying he and I struggle because I suck with my pronouns. Dolphin's non-binary, so Dolphin doesn't like to uh, be classified as male or female. And you know what? Uh, I didn't have as much understanding about all that stuff as I do now, having spent time at Slap City because there's a lot of people, there's a large trans community, and there's just a lot more people you know, being on the West Coast, that's a lot more open, and uh, yeah, I got to realize that they don't freak out when you mispronoun them. That's just YouTube. They're actually really fucking nice, and not all of them have to look like a guy or a girl to want to be called, you know what I mean? Like, Dolphin, you know, and I hate to say it like this, but Dolphin looks very, you know, masculine on the outside, but uh, Dolphin doesn't want to be identified as anything. So uh, I keep struggling, and Dolphin's super sweet about it. So like when I went up there, I said, hey, what up, girl? Uh, that was just me trying to balance out the fact that I always say, hey, what's up, man? And it's like, although Dolphin's okay with it, it's like not Dolphin's preference, not their preference. So I really respect Dolphin, and I hope that we can ma maintain a long-lasting friendship. And so I want to do my best to, to take advantage of that opportunity to learn how to not offend and how to treat my friends with the proper respect that they, they hope that I'll give them. Yeah, and it's a great opportunity, like I said, for me to stretch outside of the normal zones that I've been in. And yeah, learn to be more aware of the open real world instead of just how I see it through YouTube. That's my rant. All right, well, keep flipping this around. This is about it, yeah, why not? I'm gonna go back to the truck, have a smoke. Uh, lots of video today, I'm gonna pretty much take nonstop uh, while I'm having fun. So keep watching the solstice it's gonna be great and if you like these videos that makes me happy I don't know what to say sorry I got distracted see you guys bye